Hello, my name is Luis Kospeski and I will present the work entitled Masonry Walls with Horizontal Chases um, A Numerical Analysis Utilizing the Lattice Discrete Eminent Method. The authors of this work we, uh, are from the south of Brazil, very near from the frontier with Uruguay and Argentina, the cities of the Alegrete and Santa Maria. In our region, it's very common found uh, builds uh, with uh, constructed by uh, masonry walls. The, these builds are at least eight floors, and they don't have uh, any columns or beams. Uh, all the structure is masonry walls. It's very common also after the occupancy. Uh, uh, found um, reductions of the uh, in the walls by uh, put uh, pipes or ducts, electrical ducts, so like this. Then the the calculus of the walls are not accuracy, are not correct. <coughs> then some of the authors of the works uh, made an experimental analysis with a small scale walls utilizing small scale bricks and in these cases and uh, they with chases with different reductions of the wall 20 30 and 50 percent of the thickness is the uh, tip of the of the cut uh, the, these chases ha ha are horizontal uh, vertical or inclinated well, we utilize the lattice discrete element method to model this this uh, problem. The lattice discrete element method consists of the discretization of the solid by means of a regular lattice model. This regular mo uh, lattice uh, arrangement has 20 elements and 9 nodes. Every node has 3 degrees of freedom. The area of these elements, longitudinal ones or diagonal ones, is calculated uh, in, in weight of the elasticity of the material, is, uh, the elastic material is exactly the same of the solid that represent it. Uh, the equation of motions as are obtained for the equilibrium conditions, uh, the matrix, the mass matrix and the damping matrix are diagonal ones. Uh, the internal force and the external force depends on the time. The internal force are related to the strain of the element. Uh, this time discretization is uh, uh, calculated utilizing an in, uh, explicit uh, scheme. It's important, it's important to note that all the, co uh, the nodal coordinates are updated at every time step. In this way, large displacements are accounted for naturally. Uh, the, st uh, the stability of this uh, integration is ensured uh, by adopting a small uh, integration time. This integration time is calculated uh, with the length of the smaller element, the diagonal ones, and the uh, velocity of the longitudinal waves in the material. Well, if we have a solid of size L and we do a cut on this, the, the energy released is GF, the fractal energy, times square L, the size of the surface. If we cut the LDM arrangement, we have the fractal energy released times the area of the four longitudinal element plus the area of the internal element plus the area of the four diagonal elements. In this way, the energy released must be equal. Then we calculate the constant Ca that relates this uh, that, that do that this energy must be uh, the same. In this way, we calculate or we found 
the fracture area of the material. Then every element has two areas, the uh, elastic one and the fracture one. Every element has a, re uh, a bilinear relationship that is, re uh, that is based on the Hillerbox model. This element, the, uh, the area of this constitutive law is related to the fracture energy and the fracture area of the material. Then, when this energy is equal to the fracture energy, this element lost his current capacity. The epsilon p is the strain at before that uh, we don't have any um, any damage the, the, uh, after the, this deformation we start the damage the linear elastic uh, the material is linear elastic after epsilon p this epsilon p is calculated um, using the fracture uh, mechanics where r if if is a, a, a parameter that depends on the boundary condition as the size of the uh, crack uh, of the element. How we put this lattice med model in the abacus? Well, the arrangement, the 3D arrangement, is uh, modeled by uh, utilizing 3D truth finite elements in the abacus. And the Hillerbog model is replaced by a linear elastic behavior after the failure and a smeric crack model before it. Uh, this smeric crack model is based on Hillerbog 2, then it's very similar to the one used by uh, in, the, uh, in the lattice model. In this work uh, here, uh, published in the theori theoretical and applied fracture mechanics, we show the some examples of the utilization of the mix uh, of the LDM in abacus explicit environment. Uh, here, for example, we s uh, we modulate the a small part with lattice diffret element and the other part with a finite element method, and the part with lattice diffret element method. Uh, is the part when the, the crack propagates. Here are another example of this. Uh, well, we utilize this model to um, to the representation of walls with chases. Uh, this work it's uh, it's in a revision process in the uh, engineering structure engineering structure uh, journal and this is a model very very expensive uh, simulate one of these cases is more than 30 hours then uh, we have two phases the bricks one and the mortar one and uh, here is the chase in the middle of the height and here are the results for wall with chases of 20%, 30 and 50%. Uh, these first two results are with a um, pinned, uh, uh, pinned uh, boundary condition, and this uh, another is with modifi modified it, the boundary conditions, utilizing a um, uh, fixed the in the in the base and pin it in the top uh, of the wall. The results found are very good, very similar to the experimental ones, but uh, the model is very expensive uh, to, to, to do more analysis. Uh, here are the, the um, final configurations or the failure configurations. Uh, we can see that are very similar to the experimental one when the crack propagates on the corner of the goods in the vertical direction and then appears uh, appear here 
Africa. We can see appears the the bending uh, uh, bending graph that uh, collapse the structure. Uh, well, in this work we uh, we want to do a simple model uh, that uh, that this model is a two D be a two D uh, plan strain conditions and uh, that utilizes a um, pinet boundary condition. Uh, the properties of this material is uh, the homo homogenized. Then we have only one property for all the the, the wall. Uh, this is a, s uh, a simplified model uh, that we can have uh, results in a few minutes. Then it's a very uh, small uh, easier to to have results. For start this analysis, we utilize four meshes to find what uh, w what is the best mesh to, an to do the analysis. Uh, here are the properties. There are only one elastic module, uh, specific mass. See, uh, yes, and uh, for all this analysis, here we have the result for the four meshes we can find that uh, are very similar the result for every mesh and here are the final configuration fonts uh, it's important to note here that this mesh of L 2.8 or 2 millimeters are the bigger that have uh, good results but we utilize this, this mesh of 2 millimeters for the rest of the analysis here we, we can see that the failure uh, mechanism is very well, uh, well observed here in this, in, in this one. Uh, here we have uh, the, the three simulations with 20%, 30%, and 50% of the, of the thickness. Uh, the cut uh, is, is in, this in these cases. And uh, we ha uh, here we, uh, we have the, the result. Well, uh, it's, it's possible to, to see that the, fle uh, the flexure of the, this model is more is bigger than the, the experimental one. This is because we utilize a pinet uh, condition, uh, and the experimental is not not exactly pinet. Then, and for this case, the the failure occur, uh, appears by uh, flexure only uh, besides the the, cr uh, the crack the the cut. Uh, another inter interesting thing is that the bending f uh, crack appears at any places, and in the experimental, uh, these cracks appears only in the face of the mortar then the results are not so good because of uh, here we have three uh, videos the crack is easy to see that the crack propagates bes uh, the side of the, the cut and for the other cuts the crack propagates in the vertical direction and then appears the failure by bending is the mechanism observed in experiment well, uh, this model simplified it, uh, represents almost well the experimental results, but uh, they, uh, we see that the boundary condition must be better represented. The post-peak behavior is not well, it's not good, but uh, the mechanism, the failure mechanism observed in the experiment uh, is very similar uh, to the numerical ones, at least for chases with 20 and 30 percent. Um, in this way, we can s we can say that the LDM uh, is a good alternative to represent the this problem. Uh, the next of the work to to finish this work, we need uh, mix the walls, the LDM with finite element method. Uh, this is 
to have a better boundary condition. In this case, we can, uh, we can do the contact between the wall and the test machine platen. Uh, this can be uh, really important to have a more precise uh, representation of the problem. Another thing very important is model the, the, two, the, the two properties, uh, bricks and mortar faces. Uh, then we can find the, the, the crack propagations in the faces of the, of the wall. Um, another thing that we need study uh, next is the eccentricity of the load application and the position of the good in different places, top or down. Uh, these are all the things that we need finish uh, in our work. Well, thank you very much for your attention. Sorry by my English, but <laughs> every contact that you, uh, if you want, uh, uh, if you want, uh, if you have some questions, you can write me uh, for this email. Thank you very much.